Hello, I'm Edith Bowman and you're watching Gust. So I'm here with the fabulous Edith Bowman. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Very excited to be here. Absolutely, thank you very much for coming. Pleasure. So just a few quick questions, mm -hmm. I don't want to make it too formal or anything. I asked the fresher some questions earlier, so ask them what they'd like to know. Okay. One fresher asked, what is your favorite color? Oh, um, I love black. Yeah. But then I like to kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know, bring in a bit of gold, maybe a bit of sparkle. So, so I don't know. Pop. Yeah, but I think kind of black's a really good canvas to start from. Absolutely. So Classy, yeah, everyone sees black as being kind of sort of depressing and dark and stuff, but I think it's a, it's a kind of beautiful canvas to start from. So yeah, I would probably say black, which is quite good because your kind of Absolutely. outfit's black. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. With a little pop of the shoes as well. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, another fresher wanted to know mm. what your favourite song is at the moment. What are you listening to? Oh man, that is a really hard one. Oh um, uh, God, uh, I'm listening to Royal Blood a lot at the minute. I can't kind of get that album off. Um, but I tell you what's track that I love that I think is just kind of out there at the minute uh, is the Vic Mensa track, uh, which is, I think it's called Down On Your Luck. Um, and it's just, it's got this really familiar vibe to it. It's not in your face. It's not trying to be anything. It's just this really, really kind of sort of subtle little bouncy tune um, and I love his delivery as well so I kind of can't get that one out of my head I'm going to play that tonight and see if anyone oh. likes it so perfect yeah so do you think British music at the moment is absolutely where it's at I think British music has always been a huge kind of um, example to the rest of the world in terms of um, you know you I think you, you'll find bands around the world who'll cite British music as being influential going all the way back to you know kind of Stones and, and Beatles and things like that um, and I think that we need to be careful as a, a kind of music industry in terms of making sure we maintain that because I think we're very um, easy to uh, take for granted the music that comes out of this country and not give it the full support that it deserves. I think we're very much driven at the minute by quite a lot of disposable music. Um, and we forget about those artists that might have been around for a little while to kind of give them the support that are kind of quite stalwarts in terms of where music's come from and where it's going as well. So I think it's something we shouldn't take for granted. Sure. But I think that um, the British music scene always inspires and is always at the forefront of finding new things or finding new kind of pockets of things and that's the one thing that I love about the UK is that we're this tiny island of, of countries and um, they may be unified may not be I mean this is the night <laughs> you know it's a perfect it. night to be here but I think that um, what I love about what's happened in the past is that you get these little spotlights of pockets of focus on areas and the music that's coming out of those areas and that happens at different times um, you know, whether that be like the Manchester scene, and there's loads of great stuff coming out there at the minute, whether it be Bipolar Sunshine and stuff like that, but, um, you know, and Scotland's always had this amazing, incredible, creative kind of energy about it, not just in the kind of big cities, but also, you know, kind of far from places as well. And you, you look at a lot of bands that will, will kind of seek out that isolation almost of, of kind of, uh, rural Scotland as inspiration and stuff as well. Sure. So yeah. there was a lot, quite a lot of reports recently, uh, sort of articles talking about the Mercury Awards, and yeah. that this year they've gone for quite a lot of unknown or up and coming artists, yeah. or like FK Twigs and stuff. What is your opinion on that? I, th I mean, I think it's Mercury's a tough one. I was a judge on it one year, and I, I did it one year, and I would never do it again. To kind of judge music like that, I think, is very hard because music's such a personal thing. You know, we've got six people in this room and I reckon everybody would have a different reaction yeah. or a different feeling to if we picked one song so it's hard to judge music like that and I, I appreciate the need for it and the need for things like that um, and I do think that they, they, they do really well in terms of, of kind of you know you've got Damon Alburn who's not a, a new act but it's his first solo album uh, which has been a long time coming and one of my favourite albums of the year then you have like young fathers in there as well who I yeah. absolutely love and I think are so exciting you know in terms of you talking about where the British music scene is and they're a band who've worked so hard over the last eight years or something in terms of where they are but I'm so happy to see them in there and um, so 
Yeah, it's it's really good because I think that's the one thing that the Mercury's does that other award shows like the Brits and things don't necessarily do is they don't kind of pull out those unknowns. Yeah. We had another fresh year want to inquire about the technicalities of doing a DJ set. They okay. want to know behind the desk, what are you doing? What goes into playing Behind the desk, show? I'm working out what record I'm playing next. I don't work off a computer, I work off CDs. Um, and I have, I used to come with three kind of big, big bags of CDs. Uh, not bags, but kind of, you know, like kind of folders of them. And now I've kind of condensed that to one. Um, and so I have my kind of almost like foundations of, of music that I think is, you know, is, is from 10 years ago up till now. But then every DJ set that I do, I'll make a new compilation album and two, two copies of it in case I need to go for, you know, tunes off of each one. Um, just in terms of where it is for that week and where is something it might have been and not necessarily be something new, it might be something from five years ago that I go, God, I need to have that in. So I never come with a pre-planned set. I never even know what my first song is going to be until I kind of, I get out there five, ten minutes before and just kind of see what's going on, see how people are feeling and just kind of, you know, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. But that's the kind of energy and the excitement of DJing and stuff. And, and I'm not one of those kind of, you know, seamless DJs that you won't hear the end of a record and the start of the next. I try. Um, but um, it's just about um, it's about the music. It's about people having fun and having a good night. Hopefully. Absolutely. And they seem Hopefully. So keen for oh, bless. A few random questions. Yeah. Because I have a preference. What did you have for dinner tonight? Uh, oh, I grabbed something at the airport. Uh, what did I have? I had I had a plate of. It was a really mixed match stuff. There was a little bit of pasta. It was spinach and mascarpone pasta. Uh, a little dollop of coleslaw. Um, and there was other some other kind of weird like bean salad thing. Literally had like an hour and I just went around like the boofy thing and went after that, 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 <laughs> and just like inhaled it. Uh, so that was dinner, which sounds quite healthy yeah, actually. I'm, I'm right. quite, yeah, there's a little bit of biscuits and cheese after that. Yeah. Yeah, and you're from Anstruther in yes. Fife, not far from Dundee where I'm yeah. from. How are you? Yeah, you're absolutely. Amazing. Do you have any time for a trip home this weekend? Uh, not this weekend, I don't, but next weekend I do. I'm back up um, next weekend DJing back in Glasgow in Aberdeen on the Saturday, so I'm going to get um, I'm going to get the bus home yeah, next bus. next Saturday because oh, I, uh, I just it's I love public transport and I get it all the time in London. You know, if I need to get I live in North London, if I need to get into town. I'll get on the bus, 24 bus, round the corner from my home, takes me right in the centre of town, and it's about 25 minutes, and it's just a real good, sort of sitting on the top of the bus, kind of watching the world go by, reading something online, or listening to something, and so, yeah, I'm gonna get the bus back to Anstruther, because it goes right through Anstruther. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the bus back next weekend, spend the day with the family and stuff, get some fish and chips probably, and then um, probably get the train back up to Aberdeen that night to DJ next Saturday night, so. I don't get back as much as I'd like to, mm -hmm. but, um, I really try because I get I get kind of withdrawal symptoms of friends and family, but also the sea. The sea does an amazing thing for people, and it's quite a funny thing because a lot of musicians cite the sea as being kind of quite influential and inspirational. Yeah. So um, I get real withdrawal symptoms if I'm not by the sea uh, every couple of months. So, but yeah, but it's, I've been up a lot this week. Mm -hmm. I was up on Tuesday doing a, a live debate show uh, with uh, an amazing crowd of of young people, 16 to 24 year olds, talking about the referendum and. What I've come away from this this whole experience, not being allowed to vote because I live down south, is that um, is how how important it is and how amazing it is to see young people engaged, inspired, and opinionated, uh, and and educated about the debate and about opinions and forming their own opinions. Um, I'm, you know, my main thing that this morning I woke up knowing that it was a big day for Scotland and just kind of said. You know, good luck to everybody, but just respect everybody. And I think that's the main thing is like, whatever way it goes, Scotland's going to be a different place. We're still going to be Scots. It's still going to be Scotland. We should be proud of that Absolutely. and make the most of everything that we have because there's not many places in the world like us. Fantastic. Mm. One more. Yeah. If you are to sum up where you are now or where you're going or how you feel in this moment mm. with a song title. Oh, wow. What would it be? Um... Wow, that's a hard one. Um, uh, oh man. Um, or a lyric, because sometimes song titles can be deceiving. 
Yeah, I mean, well, that's I mean, that's the great thing about music is like you know, artists write songs. They have they know what they're about, but not. But you know, once they release them, it's it's up to you as a music fan to make your own interpretation of that. But I am. Um, I don't know. I just feel really positive about things, um, about life and about the future. And you know, it's great to come back up here. So I don't know. Weirdly, I would kind of maybe cite. Um, Maybe I would cite Proclaimers in 500 miles, because that's yeah. kind of how far I've come today, pretty much, to be here. So, yeah, there Brilliant. you go. Thank you very Perfect much. Perfect for today, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.